Facts First presents Mom Goes to Daughter's Daycare, Looks Down in Horror When She Sees What Staff Did to Her Feet. Let the world know that we're putting our best foot forward by clicking that like button. Also be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so you don't miss our future videos. Millions of parents work and they need to put their children in daycare, and for many parents that's not an easy thing to do. Now, in a perfect world, parents would be able to spend their days with their children, but unfortunately we do not live in a perfect world and people need to work for a living. Dag nabbit. So that means trusting somebody to care for your child when you can't be there. Before parents settle on a daycare center, they'll often do a great deal of research to find the right one. They want to make sure the teachers are highly educated, that the center has all the necessary credentials, and that they have a good reputation. Parents need to know that they can trust the people that they're leaving their children with. Trusting a complete stranger with your child, that's a scary thing to do. What would you do if you thought you had a daycare center you could trust, but then a year later find the trust has been broken? Well, that's what happened to Jessica Hayes. Jessica Hayes is a mother who lives in Elkin, North Carolina, and when her daughter was six weeks old, Jessica had to find a daycare center that she could trust to care for her daughter. Now, as much as she hated to leave her daughter with strangers, her maternity leave was over and she had to go back to work. She needed to support her family and going back to work was the only way she could do that. After extensive research, Jessica decided to send her daughter to the Pleasant Hill Baptist Church daycare. She heard great stories about the daycare center and she liked that it was run by people who truly believe in their faith. Jessica thought that it'd be a great place to send her little girl and for over a year, things were great. Unfortunately, 16 months later, Jessica's trust was shattered. Jessica went to pick up her 17-month-old daughter from daycare just like she did every other day. She gathered her daughter's things and took her home, and when she got home, she went to take off her little girl's shoes and she noticed that there was masking tape wrapped around her girl's feet and ankles. The tape was so tight around her baby girl's feet, it actually left an indentation in her ankles the entire area was bruised and swollen. She couldn't believe what she was seeing. Jessica's daughter had just learned to take off her shoes, and she loved to take them off and then try to put them back on. And Jessica watched her do that all the time, so she assumed that she'd be doing it at daycare as well. She never expected that her daughter's teachers, though, would tape the shoes to her feet to keep her from doing it. Jessica says she assumed that her daughter's new behavior was aggravating her teachers, and Jessica assumed that the teachers didn't mean any harm to her daughter. They probably thought that they had just come up with a clever solution to the problem. And even though the daycare teachers likely didn't mean her daughter any harm, they did harm her, and to Jessica that was unforgivable. Her trust in the school system was immediately broken. Jessica was so livid about the condition of her daughter's ankles, she took photos of the damage that the tape had caused. She also took a video of herself taking the tape off her little girl. She was so upset, she decided to post the photos on Facebook. She wanted to let other parents know what happened to her daughter as a warning. When Jessica posted her photos, another mother, Megan Howlett Cheek, commented on the post. She was another mother whose daughter came home from daycare on the same day as Jessica's, with masking tape around her feet and ankles. Jessica was outraged that it had happened to another child, and on the same day? Jessica called the daycare center immediately to report what had happened. She told them that they could see photos of her daughter's bruised and swollen ankles on Facebook. When the daycare center saw the footage of Jessica's daughter's ankles, they fired the two employees who were responsible. In her post, Jessica said that she didn't want to mention the names of the employees who had taped her daughter's shoes on, you know, to respect their privacy. Jessica felt welcomed by the daycare director after the incident. As far as the other parents, they didn't feel quite as welcome. After the Facebook post went viral, many of the parents would give her dirty looks. She was shocked by that. She says she has never felt so unwelcome by people who claim to be Christians in her entire life. She says that because of these dirty looks, she's currently looking for a new daycare situation and probably a new church. Subscribe for more.